Hello everybody, this is Dragma here, and I am right now maintaining my animals. I have my water containers. I have an actual tool bin where I have all the things and stuff like that. This, oh. Well, I was gone off YouTube in a couple days. She molted once again. She, this is her first molt. Or actually, it's more of her second molt. The biggest one's the third molt. But we put that in the memory box so we know how big she is and how old she is. Once she gets to a certain size, I'll start putting it in a box, making it row by row how big she's going to get, how large she's going to stop growing. When she hits her full size, she'll, her molts will just be the same size over and over and over. She'll probably get about as big as this, about as wide as this. That's how big, bigger she's going to get. Probably about six inches long. Now, we have a jumping spider. I found it on the wall, literally over there. Hold on, let me move myself over so you guys can see. I gotta be careful on where he's at. Did you put back in there? You see him? He's the black dot. He's literally right here. He knows how I feel about him being on the glass. You can see him right there in front of my my index. He's really tiny, but this is a barboreal cage. It's where you can take. <clears throat> it's a cage that sits straight up, but this is the only cage I ha the only container I had to keep him in so he could not escape. Because these cages don't work so well. Well, they do. It's just I gotta make a, I gotta figure out a way to keep him in there. Once I get this container like this, I'm gonna put him in there. Sorry, that was my foot. I'm stretching my leg. My leg, right? I have arthritis in my leg right here, which sucks. But I'll be okay. This is Silencia's cage. Everybody knows Silencia. The devil of spiders. And yes, I'm getting ready to move a couple things in the cage. And I got another glove, because the other glove doesn't work. This one's very thin. But she doesn't know that. And I don't think she can hear me. Hopefully she did not hear me. I know they can hear... He they, I know they can understand us. I just don't want them basically... <clears throat> going through and stuff like that. Where's my poker? Uh oh. Yeah, that's a big uh oh. I lost my poker. Lost my spider poker. But I got a new piece of wood. I'm thinking about adding it into her cage, but. I'm not sure. I'm, I like the way her cage is right now, but... Found the poker. Found the poker. Yep. Poker. Now. I got my scissors here. 
I'm gonna lift this up. Oh, she didn't even lay down her neck. You feeling all right? Feeling okay, Baba? You didn't even lay down your nest. You didn't even lay down one single thread of... You need to be warm, too. I know this room's cold, but... You at least need to eat and stay warm, too. Your webs are what keeps the heat in. You don't spin your webs, you're gonna die. Yeah, that's the. <clears throat> I main the I maintain these cages. These cages every day, every week. I pick out the dead that the spiders eat. I take out the dead and I throw them in the trash can so it doesn't cause any disruptions and it won't get it basically it won't give them any type of disease that will kill the spider off. I don't want that. I want them alive, healthy, living long, luxurious lives like they should. Now, get this. I didn't buy these spiders. I caught them outside. The one that I saved, and she's actually grateful for it, is my wolf spider. I've had... But she's decent size for a three-month-old spider, especially since she's how she's eating. The cages. Okay. I gotta take the rubber band. See? Rubber band it up, rubber band it back. And I'll do that at least three times. Now I have a second rubber band. Oop, I dropped it. And I'll do it again. But this time I won't show you guys. I only do it twice. So I'm going to put Silencia over this way so you guys can see the cage. You can barely see it, which is right here. <coughs> My uh, cam keeps going out. My snails. I've been keeping up to date with the water with them in their water because there's it's starting to get cold all my insects will except the spiders the spiders are going to be stubborn and not going to hibernation she might silencia might go into hibernation if she does that'd be great that's less mouths to feed because when she goes into a hibernation stage, I won't have to worry about her until the spring. Which is in... In April. March, April. One of those two. So, I still have a decent amount of time if they go into a hibernation. I would love all my insects to actually go into hibernation except my spiders. <clears throat> I think the beetles might be going into hibernation. They're burying themselves more. They're hiding themselves a lot more. So they might be going into hibernation. This is Bonnie and Clyde's cage. See, I already have three out. <clears throat> this is Devil and Diablo because Akuma is dead. 
I showed you in the last video, Akuma passed. blown out or anything like that. It was actually reused as food. I re I use if my end Valencia, the other one I showed you guys, he is in my in my collection with my insects. Yeah, hold on. Each one shows you how old they are and how they die. Each one is a catastrophic death. I have three cicadas. I have a leaf bug and a couple others. This is the other male for Silencia. Hopefully this one lives long enough to breed her in the spring. I want to breed her and take her babies and release them release all of her babies out in the wild and keep her because she should stay alive hopefully this is the other male he doesn't need any water so I'll put his cage off the side <clears throat> these are my dragon centipedes they need a little bit more water Just a little bit. Now since these guys have water, I'll put these guys on top of the spider cage. They, I'm going to start stacking the other ones. <clears throat> this was the old wolf spider cage. Now it's a beetle cage. They don't need water. The locks I have there are keeping that container from tipping, which, thank God for pebble, fish pebbles, fish pebbles, especially with insects. They keep, they keep tipping it, just like this one. I'll let the millipedes and dragons. for them but any other bug I won't let them now I have one two three four five six cages stacked right here this is an empty this is what I'm going to be waiting for a prey mantis for I want I want to get a prey mantis I want to get a prey mantis so bad then we have the pill bug colony I don't all I have this not speak <clears throat> see pill bug I have rocks in here with the blue cap pill bugs are doing really good they haven't tipped the water which is great now <clears throat> I am going to what I move that out the way throw that over there <laughs> um where's my little plume my flash I need my trusty little broom. And I'll clean the inside of the tunnel section, which is, I'll show you guys, under here. This is where I have all the insects. It's nice, it's dark, it's damp for them. And I try to keep it as clean as I can.
see this all comes out of the whole entire thing so now this goes there if you have insects just saying the cleaner you are the better off you are now you can see this is the spider cage Rufus's cage and this other spider cage those are the three top ones up there that I will let stay up there now I'm gonna turn you guys back over here so you guys can see me now I'm gonna hurry up and stuff like that cuz blah 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 I have school and stuff like that schooling fun <laughs> see there she is the lovely beautiful wolf spider she's a big girl I mean big girl for her size and her age with these no more I feed her with the scissors because the scissors are able I can hold them like this grab the worm like that and go like this actually I want to see if she'll eat so this might turn into a feeding video so I'm gonna set these on there I'm gonna pop up here real quick open the frog cage look around in the dirt because I have worms in the frog cage if any worm wants to pop up be nice to me and let me have the worm I don't think they will hi froggies don't find me you're doing my daily route of searching through your cage for a nice juicy worm for the spider Okay, plan B. Here's Rufus's cage. I'm going to move him over here real quick. I'm going to... Hey, look, it's decently looking nicer. My substrate bedding that I made. It's all homemade. It's all whole again. All organic. That I've had since the beginning of time. Since I've actually moved in this area. Be sure of that piece of dirt. Perfect sized worm. No, I'll take that. No, pat it right back down. Because I don't want the dirt to be things. This is a not. This is an eel seal tight. I have no holes in this container. Don't need them. Because the carbon dioxide in the plant that's in there keeps the air flowing so I'm gonna move 
Rufus over here. I'm gonna prepare the food after I squeeze the poop out of the worm. Because I don't want no poop when I feed the spider. Because the poop can kill the spider. So I'll pinch it off where I want it. And I'll cut it directly where I need it. This worm right here will sit up in this container right here. I can't do nothing but just die. Hold on, let me. I gotta stun the worm so it stops moving. Squeeze it just a little bit. Enough to go like this. Now I'm gonna pick you guys up. We're gonna bring you down to the cage of Carnet. The spider cage. I'm going to see if she'll eat. You want it? Mm. Mm. I know you want it. There she goes. Let go of the, her food, damn it. That was a good bite, but. Now that I'm waiting till Monday, maybe I might feed you on Sunday again. I'm not sure. But I know one thing, I gotta put that worm back in its original home so its butt can heal. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I might just feed the other creatures. Well Silencia, well, Silencia is over here. This is Rosie, the wolf spider. Well, she's eating, and you're watching. I'm going to be in the background back here with a cage. I need to clean my room. <laughs> <clears throat> While you're watching her move around in a cage over this way, I'm going to be back here. I'm going to move the pill bugs back into their home. Same with these guys. The beetles. Eat meat. So if I... I'm just going to use this whole entire worm. I have, I know I have tons of them because I breed.
I'll put it right in their food bowl. And I'll drop two pieces in there. So now since they're fed, <clears throat> I'm going to tip their cages sideways. Okay, now I'm going to be in the background of this. This Lucius. Over here you can see, I'll actually put the flashlight once I find it on her, so you guys can see her even better. Hopefully you guys can see her. See, she's off there. I'm going to let you guys do that. Well, I'm going to be in the background right here. This is where I'm going to be in the background. She's coming towards you guys. I'm going to let that go off. I'm going to feed the centipedes in here, too. Now, since they need to be moved above. giant centipedes go over here stretch this out go through here drop the food close it Grab Silencia's cage. She's almost ready to die. Hopefully she doesn't. She looks like it. Okay. These guys don't need any help. <clears throat> Neither does this. Come on. Lindsay doesn't need this kind of stress. Stop hitting the cage. Move the spider back here. So now, since you guys seen her, she's like. I'm going to let her feast on that, which now I'm going to move this up here. You guys got a good glimpse of her feeding. Um, this is, Rufus got a new cage clean, clean up. He is no longer in that ship, no longer. He kind of got the same way as that. He's right here. That's where Rufus is. That hole and this hole is where he can escape. 
he decided to make another hole over here so he has three hole three holes stuff like that but I don't care he's still not used to it yet so I'll let him get used to it I'm gonna turn up my heater so he can be warm tonight because it's gonna get cold <clears throat> grab you guys again so now while I'm cleaning up I'm going to explain most of the things <clears throat> Some people say wolf spiders. Yes, they are venomous. They are not. They, if you guys have never heard of Dark Den, he is a person across seas that takes care of. Things he did wrong. And I will point it out to him. Yes, I follow his instructions, but he did something very wrong. Wolf spiders. They do not like to be messed with, period. <clears throat> they like a sudden environment. Some, not a hole where you can just watch them go in the hole. Now, if you want to see them fully... This is how I have my wolf spider cage. I literally have four rocks, an opening in the corner section right here, and there's a den. The den goes all the way back here. But if you see, it's just like a regular, just like a regular cage. I only had her for three months, but she's decent size, decently pretty good in her size. She's gonna get bigger too. She'll probably get about six inches long. About the size of a regular tarantula. <clears throat> and if she gets bigger than that, well, she gets bigger. It's a spider. They get big. And I've been making these as long as Dark Den has. These are different types of trays, but this is a perfect cage for small spiders and stuff like that. Insects. Kate, her new cage that I'll be getting soon in a couple weeks. I'm getting her another cage about this big, but like that. And she's going to go in it. Everything that's in that cage there was originally from the other cage that transferred to that that is going in the bigger cage so she feels safer now I'm going to remodel it with bigger stuff and eccentric eccentric these scissors I'm not going to put in the bin I'm not going to put in here because uh, that's a waste of my time there's two pairs of scissors that look exactly alike and I hate it Hold on, let me pull these out. <clears throat> like I said, two scissors that look exactly apart, but one is bent and one is a straight edge. This use these as for like feeding them, feeding the spiders, going like this in the cage. So I can blow on the cage and pull out Rufus out of his cage. Yes, he doesn't like it, stuff like that, but he knows, hey, if I'm here, it's time to get out. I do that, the same thing with this, but Spider bit this one, which she has a very strong bite, but bite through some serious plastic. This is the bedding cleaner. I take this, 
and I scrape it across, it's like a tiny little rake. It's actually meant for a Zen garden, which I lost my Zen garden. It's somewhere in my closet, somewhere over here. So far, so forth. I've been doing great. I won't feed the tiny spider because she still has a cricket in there. Cedric, ooh, what's in here? Oh. Looky here. <clears throat> we found a roly poly. You know what I do with roly polies? Because she is a pill bug eater. A pill bug is a roly poly. Or the armor plated bug. Another term for them. Drop it right by her. Because when she's ready, she'll feed on her own. I don't feed her. I drop the food in there and I leave it to her demise. How she ever wants to hunt. Because she's still, she's a wild spider. That one in there, that wolf spider, is not. She's not wild at all. But I won't pick her up. <clears throat> I won't pick her up for one reason. She can bite through my gloves and she is venomous. Just set it right by the plants, water and all the spider water and stuff like that. <clears throat> Come on, give me it. <clears throat> the breeding cage. So when it's time, when it starts turning springtime and stuff like that, and they in mating season starts coming, if that little male starts living, I'm gonna stick the little male and Silencia in this cage. I'm going to see how they are, and I'm going to watch them for several hours, so if they start breeding and they're done breeding, I can transfer that male out as quickly as I can, because she will eat that male. <clears throat> In spider terminology, if you're the male and you don't escape quickly, you will become her brood's first meal. But she'll eat you for her eggs to hundred to two hundred babies. That's a lot of babies. <clears throat> but it's all worth it too. I'm gonna stick that in there. If you guys like this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Dragma King. Peace out.